Hello, good morning, friends. I'm Dr. Pravin Reddy. In the last two videos, we have discussed about uh, PLSI module two. Uh, we have done with the schematic diagrams and the layout diagrams. Now we will uh, see the lambda based design rules. Lambda based design rules is used for construction of CMOS layout diagrams. So we will see the lambda based design rules of P diffusion, N diffusion and uh, other metals polysilicon so this is the lambda based design rules in which we uh, always draw n diffusion for n mos and p diffusion for p mos n diffusion and p diffusion there is only a small difference between both that the bars which are in the n diffusion are very close to each other and the bars which are in p diffusion are bit far from each other so this is the polysilicon. The polysilicon bars are opposite side of N diffusion. The polysilicon bars are from left to right and N diffusion bars are from right to left. The width of N diffusion, it is important, the width of N diffusion is 2 lambda and width of P diffusion is also 2 lambda. But whenever you are drawing 2 N diffusions or whenever you are drawing 2 P diffusions, the gap between two P diffusions and N diffusions is 3 lambda. Same in the polysilicon. The width of polysilicon is 2 lambda and width of polysilicon is 2 lambda but the gap between two polysilicons is also 2 lambda. The width of two P diffusion is 3 lambda. Width of two polysilicon is 2 lambda. The width of P diffusion and polysilicon is 1 lambda. Now coming to the metal which is used for source and drain. Metal width is three lambda, metal one. Metal two width is four lambda. Usually we use metal one for construction of source and drain. Metal one width is three lambda. And the gap between two metals is also three lambda. So this is the important slide to remember uh, while construction of layout diagrams. Uh, I will give you an example of inverter. Now this is a drawn inverter using lambda based design rules. This is PMOS, this is NMOS. PMOS I have drawn, this is a P diffusion of width 2 lambda. Polysilicon of 2 lambda. Metal of width 3 lambda. And this is N diffusion. The bars are closer compared to the P diffusion. This is of width 2 lambda. Polysilicon is of 2 lambda. This is gate terminal. For source and drain, you are using metals. This is of width 3 lambda. So this is about lambda based design rules. This is the important PPT uh, slide you to remember. Now uh, uh, you can draw all the layout diagrams given in this assignment using lambda-based design tools. Thank you.